everyone, it's Getting Crafty 101. I'm experimenting here and I'm pretty excited about some things I'm trying and I want to share it with you guys. Um, everyone knows I've been having a lot of trouble with glazing. Uh, Youngkin's M suggested that I use this uh, polycrylic protective finish, the water base. You get a Walmart or Lowe's. I think it run, I think it was like $16, 16 $17. But that's for 32 ounces, and that's going to last me forever. And I have to say, that stuff is pretty awesome. Um, I've only put one coat on this right here, but look at that. It's shiny. I'm trying to get in the light where you can kind of see. It's shiny. There's no streaks. I love it. Thank you very much, Yunkin Zim. Um, another thing as far as with the resin glazing, I asked Miss Stone if she tapes the backs of her pieces before she glazes with resin. And she, her reply was very interesting to me. She says she doesn't because she, does, she only does the tops. She doesn't do the sides. And I was thinking, well, <laughs> she's very talented. And um, do you all remember when I bought the, this mold here? I said it was upside down, you know, like, like this is the mold, just picture this being the mold. The bottom of the mold is usually the top and the top is usually the bottom from the way you pour it, correct? Well, with this mold, they have certain letters like the G going the correct way. So if you were to flip that over, it wouldn't work, it would be backwards. So the, 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 la the top that you see when you pour the mold, like let's say this was it, this would actually be the top and the bottom would actually have to be the bottom. So I was going to sand them down really good and, and try to work with it. But after I start thinking about um, what Miss Stone said about how she pours the resin on top, I thought I'm going to get those letters and I'm going to pour a layer of, what I did is I, I used just, you know, the regular resin and I mixed in the maroon. I didn't put any white because I wanted it to be translucent so it would look more like a glaze and not a dull finish. And so um, I poured that on what would normally be the bottom to see if it would make that dome glass look that a lot of Miss Stone's pieces has. And it seems to be working. I'm so excited. I can't even explain it. Let me get that bubble out real quick. That's going to bug me. There's a bubble. But anyways, look at it. So the bottoms won't have to be sanded because they... You know what I mean? They were the bottom of the mold. So they're already clean and finished. The tops, which is usually the, the back of the mold, was the rough part. Those rough edges are now serving as like a barrier to hold the resin in. Now, I had sanded these already, you know, a little bit. And so I don't have as big of an edge as, as you know, would have been helpful. Some of them have overflowed a little bit. But this was my first time to try to pour it. So... <laughs> You know, you see I've had to move some because some went over. That's what all this globbing is, is me move, picking them up and moving them. So, like the elm, it was piling up in the middle because I had poured a little too much on top. And I just used one of those little bottles that, you know, I showed y'all before that I have to, to fill these in. And I'm just so excited. I can't stand it. I can't wait to see how these turn out. And what I'm going to do is when these finish, I'm going to use this polycrylic to do the sides and the back. So, I just think these are going to give a lot better finish. I'm really excited about it. I know not all the pieces you'll be able to, you know, I would be able to do this too. Like on these that have details, but like on hearts and circles, you know, those I can do. But like when you're doing objects that the stuff is embedded on the bottom, you know, of course that's going to be at the top. So, you can't, that same logic won't apply. But for things like this, it would work great. So, tell me what y'all think. Have any of y'all tried this? Um... Miss Stone, is this what you've been doing? I don't know. Well, we'll see how it turns out. Bye.